on, just wave your hands in the air like this. If you can see me, just wave, wave, wave. It's good to see you, everybody. Welcome to Mavuno Kids Service. My name is Hypsis, alongside Samara the Dancer. <laughs> and on the ones and twos, the person responsible for the music, please give it up for Aiki the DJ. So I bet you're ready to dance. So tell your neighbor, give me space, give me space. I don't want to step on you because I'm ready to dance, okay? Are you ready? Let's go. Hey, come on. Move to the right and, and then, then left. left. Go. Move to the right and then left. Hey, Move to the right what are they? And then left. Go. They, they are, are the opposite. opposite. Come on. The DJ. Now the step DJ. over here. Come on now. Step to the front and, and then back. back. What's up there? Go back. Go. They are the opposite. How we ready now? One, two, three, let's. There is one way. Clap your hands. It is God's way. Hey. It is the best way. It's the only way you can live. Now this way, go. There is the other side. It is God's go. way. It is the best way. It's I want. Just move to the side. I'm choosing happy so I clap my Clap your hands. Hand. Go. I'm choosing happy so I clap, clap your hands again. Hands. Go. I'm choosing happy so I clap Put your hands in the air hands. list. The joy of the Lord Take it out. It is my strength. Bring it up. And this is the day. Take it out. One, two, three, let's go. The joy of the Lord is my strength. One more time, one more time, let's go. It's my sweat. It is my strength. One, two, three. I'm choosing happy so I dance to the beat. Dance, dance. I'm choosing happy so I dance to the beat. One more time, go. I'm choosing happy so I dance to the beat. So the joy of the Lord, let's go. The joy of the Lord, it is my strength. Wave your hands, let's go. One more, one, two, three, let's the joy of the Lord, of the Lord is my sweat. It is my strength. Come on, yes, it one more time, all you say, go. The of the Lord, Lord. show, sure. it's my strength, let's go. It is my strength. Go, make some noise for Jesus. <laughs> Come on, I want you to turn to one neighbor, turn to your neighbor. It might be your brother, your sister, your friend, someone next to you. Tell them, neighbor, the joy of the Lord is my strength. Come on, come on, give it up for Jesus one more time, one more time. Wow. If indeed the joy of the Lord is your strength, just put your hands up to him, lift up your hands to him. And because he's a loving father and even knows your name, he knows everything about you. We worship him right now through this song. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Just open up your mouth and just sing this song together. I have a maker. Yes, Lord. He formed my heart. That is your maker. That is your maker. Before even time began. Before time began. My life. Your life was in his hands. He knows my name. Come on, just say he knows. Let him know. He knows my every thought. He sees each tear. He sees each tear that falls. And he hears me. And hears me when I call. Just swing from side to side. Yes, God. Lift up your voice and say, Just say this word and say, He formed my heart. Yes, God. Before even time began, my life, my life was in His. Now lift up both of your hands to God right now and say, He knows my name. 
He knows your name. He knows your everything. Let him know. He knows my every thought. He sees each tear that falls. He sees each tear that falls. And he hears me when I call. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we worship you and magnify your holy name. We thank you because you are a loving Father that even before everything, you already loved me. And so God, we thank you because you hear our, our, our prayers. You answer us when we call unto you, oh God, because you are the living God. We thank you because Jesus Christ is risen and that you can call unto his name and you are saved. And so right now I pray for every child listening to us today. Now Father, may you bless them May you give them an understanding heart and a listening ear to hear everything that they are going to be taught by their teachers and their pastors. For this we pray, trust and believe in God's children said, Amen and Amen. Hello, hello, boys and girls. Welcome to the third week of our Easter series, The Amazing Love Story. I hope you all had an amazing week and that you've been enjoying this week. How are you doing, Brenda? I am very well, Teacher Marcy, and I am so excited to be here. Very well, Brenda. It's so good to see you here again this uh, Sunday morning. And I really, really like your energy. Um, but what's up with you? Um, you look really, really excited and I need to find out why. Oh, guess what? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Last week on Monday, uh -huh. my friends at work planned a surprise farewell party for me. It started when my boss asked me to deliver a package on the floor above us. Mm -hmm. When I got there, I saw the words, we shall miss Brenda on the Aww. wall and an amazing cake on the table. It was so yummy. Wait, that sounds really <laughs> exciting, Brenda. So what happened? You, you, you must have gotten really surprised. Oh, yes, I was, teacher okay. Marcy. Uh -huh. just, just then, all my workmates walked in bearing gifts Aww. and singing the happy birthday song to me. I was beside myself with joy and surprise. My boss even asked me to cut the cake, wow. and I did, then shared it with all my workmates. Wow. It was truly amazing. That is amazing. <laughs> I'm really happy for you, and happy birthday to you. Now, I hope the cake was enough for everyone. How, uh, many, how many of your friends came for your birthday? Uh, well, um, let me count. Uh, wait. Uh-huh. Twelve. Wow. 12 friends. I shared my cake with 12 of my workmates oh, wow. who are also my friends. Splendid. Just splendid. That sounds so similar to what happened just before Jesus was crucified. Mm -hmm. He and his 12 disciples were gathered together to celebrate the Passover meal. Now here's a flashback of how things went that evening. The story is found in Matthew chapter 26, verse 17 to 30. The Last Supper. On the first day of the festival of unleavened bread, the disciples came to Jesus and asked, Where do you want us to make preparations for you to eat the Passover? He replied, Go into the city to a certain man and tell him, The teacher says, My appointed time is near. I am going to celebrate the Passover with my disciples at your house. So the, the disciples did as Jesus had directed them and prepared the Passover. When evening came, Jesus was reclining at the table with the twelve. And while they were eating, he said, Truly, I tell you, 
one of you will betray me. They were very sad and began to say to him one after the other, Surely you don't mean me, Lord. Jesus replied, The one who has dipped his hand into the bowl with me will betray me. The son of man will go just as it is written about him. But woe to that man who betrays the son of man. It would be better for him if he had not been born. Then Judas, one, the one who would betray him, said, Surely you don't mean me, Rabbi. <laughs> Jesus answered, You have said so. While they were eating, Jesus took the bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body. Then he took a cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you. This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. I tell you, I will not drink from this fruit of the vine from now on until the day when I drink it new with you in my father's kingdom. When they had sung a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. Wow. Another very yeah. interesting Easter story. I have really enjoyed it. <laughs> I'm glad you've enjoyed it, Brenda. And just like you, um, Jesus shared lots of food and bread with his 12 friends who were called his disciples. Uh, they followed him everywhere and helped him serve people. But this was going to be their last such supper together. But yeah. teacher Masi, yeah. why was Jesus talking about breaking his body and mm -hmm. pouring his blood? I mean, uh, ouch, yeah, that's so scary. <laughs> I thought that was supposed to be a celebration. Party after party. <laughs> well, it was a celebration. But Jesus also knew that his time had come. In just a few days, he would die on the cross and his shed blood would wash away all our sins so that we can be friends with God and have eternal life. Okay, now I understand, Shamasi. Do you, do you know Jesus said that we do this to remember him? Okay. We do it in church and also at home. We do. We call it Holy Communion. Yeah. But Shamasi, yeah. why were we not friends with God before? Good question. Now, when Adam and Eve sinned, all people came into the world with sin. And even as we grow up, we do many things that make God sad. The same way you sometimes make your parents sad, Brenda, uh, that's when you disobey. So what happens to you when you do that? Uh -huh. You I get a chopper, right? Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. When I disobey my parents, I get a chop, a spanking. Uh -huh. Yes. So. In the same way, God punishes those who sin against him. But wait, because God loves us so much and he knew that on our own, we could never be able to do it right. He chose not to punish us, but instead he gave his son Jesus to die for our sins. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine that? Who does that? No. Only God. The oh Bible says in John 3.16, uh -huh. and that's our memory verse for the month. Friends, sing along with me. Hey friends, do you know how much God loves us? Come on and sing with me. Let's go. For God so loved the world. Thank you. 
lovely. Did you hear that, boys and girls? For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. It's just amazing. It was the best gift ever, ever. better than anything mm -hmm. I will ever own. As a follower of Jesus, mm -hmm. what I should do is treasure this gift by living out a Christian life. Absolutely. Now that is very well said. Treasure that gift. Now boys and girls, today we close in prayer. Shall we pray together? Yes, please. Go ahead and pray to Brenda. Thank you. Um, thank you, God, for this amazing lesson. We want to thank you so much for your gift, who love, for the gift of your son, Jesus Christ, who loved us uh, with an unending love. And yeah, as we start our week, may you be with us and may you guide us. Amen. Amen. Bye-bye. See you again next Sunday and God bless you. Bye-bye, kids. See you next Sunday. God bless you and watch over you. Bye. Ciao.